in the graveyard of American industry are the communities which may decide this election. Rankin has faced decades of economic decay. Young black voters, who you might think Kamala Harris could count on, don't really care that much. Have a sobering message for her. I'm not voting. You're not going to vote, neither of you going to vote. I'll vote locally all day, every day. I'll vote locally, I'll vote for my judges, my senators, all that. But for the president, I kind of don't care personally. And it might, people, of course, they say your vote counts, but it really don't. Our two votes don't really it matter. It really don't matter. Despite statistics suggesting the economy is beginning to improve, in Braddock, Dan Scott Brinks' welding business is still recovering from the pandemic. We're just getting by each day, just looking up and waiting for the crumbs to fall. Were things better under Donald Trump than they have been under Biden for the last four years? Yes, under Donald Trump, our business was prospering hand over fist for three and a half years, something that I could never imagine. Donald Trump, within three years, I became a millionaire. And the last four years, we haven't done anything. A lot of Trump signs, this is gonna be fairly uh, rural area. And Rick Hauser is showing me around yeah. his hometown of Montoursville. Uh, your, your quintessential bedroom community in Lycoming County. A Trump loyalist, he recently lost a legal challenge to overturn the 2020 election result here. And we're still supposed to believe that he lost. No, sir, I don't believe that he lost the 2020 election, and I'll say it straight up. And he's preparing to challenge the ballot count again. If there's any chicanery or provable uh, legal uh, problems with the, the quality and the implementation of the election, then yes, we would, under good conscience and by our right, contest that election. The talk of Pittsburgh. It's the biggest prize of all the toss-up states. Pennsylvania is critical because it carries the most weight in the Electoral College. Joe Biden carried it by just 80,000 votes four years ago. But this time it might be even closer and the youth vote might be critical. When you registered to vote. Anthony Casado is taking the Republican fight to his university campus in Pittsburgh. Are you registered to vote here in Pennsylvania? His leaflets don't even mention Donald Trump. Well, I've got some information in regards to Dave McCormick. He's running for U.S. Senate in the area. Focusing instead on local candidates and local issues. While Donald Trump is not a perfect candidate and his economic plans are not perfect as well, I think that you see a stark contrast between the two as to which one's going to be better for the economic situation of students once they leave college. Um, and Donald Trump is that candidate. Globalize the Antifada. For Carmen and her friends, one issue above all others explains why they're all determined to stage an electoral protest. America's handling of the war in Gaza. I will vote, but I will not vote for Kamala. Free, free, free Palestine! Whether we know people in Gaza or not, our money, our tax dollars, are like literally sending bombs to kill people. So I think that this is a very intense feeling and it's not a decision that we make lightly. In Pennsylvania, we feel the sense of like, okay, this is up to us right now. Um, the Democrats have recruited TikTok influencers to try and regain lost ground among the young. Hi girlies, we're right outside where the debate happened just a few weeks ago. And there's just so much energy now. And I think a lot of that is really fueled by Gen Z and the younger generation that's like running her campaign on Instagram and social. I want to engage young voters. I know when I was like a 18, 19 year old, I didn't watch the news at all. Okay, ready? We all know that. It's not just Philly or Pittsburgh that are gonna determine this. It's like everywhere else. The battle for America runs through Pennsylvania. From the cities to the farms, every vote here will matter. The most consequential state in the most consequential election for generations. Dan Rivers, News at 10, Pennsylvania.